I've also seen online of other people experiencing PCIe 5 issues. If you do a quick Google search, there's all sorts of problems that people are having with the RTX 50 series. So then next, what I decided to do was I reverted back to PCIe 4 and, you know, try again and try to boot into Windows. And this time it actually did boot into Windows. Um, but I opened up GPU-Z and I found that the card was running at Gen 3, which is really, really odd. So, you know, I did record some footage uh, of what was going on and what the normal behavior should be because I threw my 49 back, uh, 4090 back into the system for a quick ch uh, sanity check. And, you know, just in case I thought maybe I messed up something with the system. Okay, so here's the test bench. Currently has the 4090 installed on it. It's turned off. So I've turned it on. Okay, so it turns on like this. You can see the white loading circle. Okay, that's done. And then boom, we're into Windows. So that's normal. That's expected behavior. That's what I've always encountered with any graphics card I've installed in this test bench.